Hey, g'day, how you all going? I'm Ian Aplis, your acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I teach beginners and advanced beginners sometimes how to paint wickedly wicked nice paintings in acrylic. I will put the size up there because people do want to know what size it is and I will also get some colours running up the screen. Now, there's not many colours there as you can see because um, there's only about, oh, what have we got? One two maybe three colors in this and that's it now it's an asian inspired fishing boat scene i like and what i like about it is it's less effort to paint this but when it's on the war frame it's going to have a lot of impact people are going to go whoa anyway and i've created a traceable now the traceable for this painting if you want this traceable will be in the links in the description below under the traceable link there's also some other links there as well check them out all right, so come on over here and we'll get right into this. Now I'm gonna start with just some soft bodied acrylic white paint. I call it craft paint. There's no retarder in this, just the paint itself. We could put actually, thinking of it, cause I do have to do a bit of blending. So I will put some retarder in it. That's gonna slow down the drying time of that and it allows me to blend smoothly transitions of the two colors and whatnot so we'll get all that mixed up and we'll paint the whole canvas in this color okay all right let's get all this pushed on there i love this putter on a brush i use look at this i don't know if you've seen people paint and it's taken them a month of sundays to get the first colors on there this putter on a brush that's why i love it it's the way i like it Look at that, it is done. It's on there, all over Red Rover, done. Look at that. Now all I like to do, to make it a bit more even and artistically better looking, is I go to the tip of the brush and I stroke it left and right. And we've got a nice amount of surface prepped to do some beautiful blending, okay? Okay, I've got a little bit of grey there, as you can see. I don't know why I put it all the way on that side. Just to put in some of a sky, a bit of a sky. Just in this corner here, just so it's not white. I want to get that just over here, into this corner. Now you can have this a bluey grey sky. I've just simply made it grey. Okay, there we go, like that. Okay, next colour is turquoise. I've just got turquoise. Uh, mine's phalo turquoise, but turquoise will do a nice green turquoise. Okay, I'm using a flat brush and I want to start lacing in the mountains and they're going to be faded. So pretty much starting from here, I want to have, let's say, because they're very high mountains in the Asian country, so I'll have something coming up here. Too much on my brush. Flatten it out, see that big blob there, I don't want that. I want to get the edge done. Okay, so I'm going to start with the edge. Bringing it down, just like so. Making a nice, beautiful edge out there. Like that. That'll do. See this big dark bit, I'll get rid of that a bit more. Okay. Get it a solid edge, but it can be scratchy looking, but so long as it's solid, there's not any hollow bits there. Now, get it reasonable. It's lightening up as it's hitting this paint here. All this paint on the canvas is wet. I'm pulling it down. Okay, now I'm gonna be using a small blending brush for this as well. Just, I'm using this one, just to get this white pushed back into there like so. There we go, just to blend that. Now each layer is gonna be put in front of the next one with a darker edge on it, okay? So there we go, we got that there like so. Dab it up, dab it up. Okay, now I'm grabbing some more and I wanna put another mountain in front of that. So we'll sort of come here. See how this is darker? Keep that dark edge. Keep it there, just make your edge best as you can subtly. They're further away so they can be more smoother. And you can come up there like that. Okay, now pretty much stamp this on because if you rub it in, you'll bring all the white 
So stamp it on, you've got more control. About there, about so to say, okay, okay, yeah, about there. And it's going to blend away there. So I'm stamping all this on here, turn the brush around, because we're picking up what as we go. And it's going to blend away down here. All right, put that brush down, pick up your little blender again, and you want to get this and make it a very dull colour down here. So I'm going to pick up all those dark edges first, wipe the nonsense off up there, and we're going to get this becoming a lot more dull now. So we're coming down, just bringing it down, bringing it down, and it's coming lighter because we're mixing with that wet white that is on the canvas coming down here coming down taper it back into there to get the um, gradient of it nice and lovely about there go about there look at that now I'm telling you right now you can do it this is very easy if you think I can't really do it Ian just practice practice every procedure you see in one of my videos now I've cleaned this brush because it was slowly picking up white and I'm loading it up again just to finish this section of the mountains here. So we're going to come from about here. It's a little bit darker. Coming off the edge here and it's coming right off the painting over here. There we go. Make sure that edge is dark like that. So we've got dark to light, dark to light. And we'll get this tapered. Now, I want this to taper down. So what I'm going to do is put it on. I want this to taper down about there with some blurriness. And I'll get this pulled on there with the brush. And it's going to gradually get lighter as well. And then I'm going to blend this. This is all a lot of fun blending to do in this painting. And now I want to blend the edge of that like I've been doing. So I've got a cloth as well constantly wiping it and I want to get this really let's get all this here first where I want it and I want to bring this down now wipe the brush and bring that into nothing there we go into nothing now I'll start just getting all this evenly brush stroked they're either fishing in the early morning or late evening overcast okay lots of fun still happening here i've just cleaned and washed this brush again now i want to get this one he's peeking up about here nice and dark nice and dark and now he's he's going to come down pretty much right here setting all that back There we go, fade away there, fade away there. And just a little bit of this, not too much. Don't use this paint too much to bulk it on because you're gonna have a hard time blending it and fading it back, if you know what I mean. So watch. This is just a little bit because it's gonna have a big one in front of it now, we're getting bigger. So we're pulling this, getting rid of that edge. See, this is all wet paint. You can't do this with dry paint. It's got all that wet craft paint and the retarder underneath it, which is allowing all this blending behaviour to happen. There we go. Pale there. There we go. Okay, getting more onto that brush. Now the top of these mountains is coming right off the painting and down. So this is all coming down now, right down here right in front of that bang see there and it's going to push that set back as well and we've got some tree tops here and whatever so you can be a bit creative which i'm going to try and be uh, i'm just same method different brush i feel but i want to create some uh, canopy tops poking up there like that without any little blobs on it, if I can help it. Nice and dark. Poking out there. And fading and stopping there. Okay, now I'll just kind of lighten all this back, because all this has got to be faded. 
faded, 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 and all the way up here. It's going to be a lot darker. Now I'll grab a blending brush and we'll blend that. Okay, so I want to pull from there back, leaving the top edge I'll put there, and I'm creating a bigger blend. I'm using a bigger brush. Blending into that craft paint with the retarder in it. We can do and will add more darker values within this gingerly. Just there, fade it away, fade it into that. Okay. Now I'm going to grab this brush again. Pick up all this now. I want dark bits spooked around there. We'll all coming down. This is all the same mountain. It's got light and dark bits in it now. And we're just pretty much coming down here. So all this will be the, the mist. Now I'm going to get brighter and duller turmoils of blending in here because I'm going to put a little bit of darker turquoise within that as well because I want this about there. Before the bottom half gets too dry, I better put the bottom half in as well, because that's going to be all the way along here. And I want that to fade up as well. Fade there, that's it, fade. I've left this a bit too long, so I'm going to have to use this brush and try and fade it up into nothing there. I'm using the tip of the brush. I want it sort of coming up there like that. I'm going to grab my blending brush and I want to blend that into the white softly. Into the white there. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. It's going to bring up some more phalo up into the white there. We've got to put more there anyway. But I want this a very pale here. It's going to be very pale. Also here, I'm bringing, with this bigger brush, I'm bringing this down to a lighter value. I'll add the darker bits up the top later. Because I want all this to cover that white craft paint. So as I can put my glare on it later. Now down here I've got some black. And I want to get up here a bit dark in there. Now I'm going to use a different blending brush. Oh, let's see how this one's going to go. It's probably got a lot of light stuff in it. Just blend that into there. There we go. Don't touch, don't bring it down into the light bit. And we'll also put a little bit just in the bottom corners here. Can you see the bottom corners? Right here, so I'll do one at a time. I just want to get this put there and quickly blend that into there so it's a there's no hard edge it's just a dark color there we go over here stamp it on and blend it in don't go too far into the lighter colour with this dark blending, otherwise you'll start creating snot. Okay, that's done. Just to put a bit of, um, I'm going to see here, a bit of artistic vibe. I get a bit more darker canopy up here somewhere. Just sort of coming down and making a light spot there. There we go, just something like that. Too easy. Now I'm going to just wipe this brush and I'll just use this to tinculate it and scratch it down like that. See, everything's still rubbery and damp. It's great fun. A little bit of dark pop there. There we go. Move it around. So next thing I want to do, I've got a clean blending brush and I want to get, I'll just grab a fan brush, I've got some titanium white. I'll do just a little bit first just to see how we're going because I've got to get white glare now. So I'm going to do, I'll do just this edge first and I want to blend from the, tap it in the middle and start blending that out into your turquoise there like so and the same up the top. 
So this will be the actual mist within the lake system and the mountains there. There we go, we're getting there. That's the beautiful vibe. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but this looks more painted than what that does. And where do we finish there? So we're coming along, I'll go about to there. The way I'm stamping it on is allowing the blending to be scattered everywhere. And I'm blending that up into there. It's looking more artistic and professionally done. Coming down. And the good thing about any traceable painting, you need to know that the painting you're going to trace on is a lighter colour because it'll be pretty hard to put one on a darker coloured painting. Now I've given this a dry and with the traceable, roughly your horizon line needs to meet with his hat. If it's too high or too low, the perspective is going to be wrong. Okay, so where you feel your horizon line is, get his hat roughly there. Now with this, you don't have carbon paper, anyone can transfer this onto a painting. Once you've got the printout like that, put it up against the window, back to front, and you can get your pencil, and you'll see the line from behind, and you can scratch in all around the edges there. So when we stick this onto there and press it on, it will transfer. Okay, so my horizon line's about there. There's his hat. I'll put a line in the traceable there so you can remember that as well. Uh, we'll put that in about in the guts of it, about there. I hope I'm in the right spot. Now what I like to do is use the red pen. Why? because uh, I could see where I've been. Press reasonably hard, not too hard, but reasonable. And that is transferring onto the painting. Let me do this all the way and I'll get back to you, okay? And you can see why I use red pen, because I could see where I've been. Okay, we'll pull that off. And now we're ready to silhouette that onto the painting. Now I find the best thing to do a silhouette, and see all these different size flat brushes I've got here. I'm just going to use simple black here. And you want the little ones, we're not probably going to need that big one. I'll start with, say, this one here. And you want to chisel that onto your brush, get it reasonably inky and we can start painting, colouring in the silhouette. Okay, so let's start from here. Nice and sharp. Take your time, make sure I've got no paint on my hands. Get everything where it's got to go. Now if you, a smart thing you can do if you haven't done this before, is just print out this silhouette a few times and just get some black paint and colour it in on the paper and give yourself a practice run. Just so as you've got the confidence in knowing how you're going to do it. It doesn't matter how long it takes you because the painting doesn't have to be done overnight. Okay. That's a little, see how that's see through there? It's a little bit too wet there, so I'll fix that up later. And make sure you've got no dags in your paint. I just had a big blob in this. See this? Look, we can get his nice pointy fisherman hat on him. I wore one of these hats with my son when I went to China, Hong Kong. We went to a fishing village there and it was very hot and sunny and we had hats like this to keep the sun off us. Beautiful village. Come along here. And this is where the flat brush comes in handy because this reflection is scalloped. Lines here like that. And with all these in the right spot, it gives the angle of the painting
So we've got scallops here before it goes into the actual hard stuff there. Got some more scallops here. And all this is hard again, creating the shadow of the painting. I'm doing a bit more of these scallops here and there. They're just, I've got a smaller brush now. They're just tapering off everything here. There. Yeah, the tea shadow, so it's got lines on it. You don't have to trace all these scallopy bits in, you just add them wherever. Don't feel you'll get it wrong because it'll all look right. his emblem on the front there. <clears throat> Just getting to the home run here. Okay, just over here to finish it off, I'll get that a bit wet, I've got the same black, I've got a bigger flat brush, and we'll just put a bit of, um, where are we, coming down here, like, there like that, just a line like that, see that, nice, that's the back, that's the end, a little bit of a frong there, and then we'll just, <coughs> boom, We'll make a some kind of um, from from a palm or something over there like they normally have block that in there like so and we'll just block that in as well just something to set the image back in the painting. All right, I'll just sign this and then we'll whack a frame on it. There we go. And I'd like to thank all my patrons who support my content every month. If you're not a patron and want to become a patron and get to see what I'm bringing out way before everybody else, hit the link below and become a patron. You get little perks like that, seeing what's coming up. And check out the rest of the other links. There's all my art for sale. And the brushes I use as well. Okay, let's put this frame on there and see how she looks. Bit of paint there. There we go, you can see what that grey done. There you go, that's not too shabby. We've got a couple of buddies in there in the Asian 
tropics there doing some fishing and we've got a lot of mist carrying on as well and I know you can do it. Yes and message me in the comments below if you have any questions you want to ask and they'll be addressed in the next Friday Night Live. Share, like and subscribe. Like I said, hit the notification bell and be sure to tell your friends if you like what I'm doing. But if you don't like what I'm doing, hey, you tell everybody. Goodbye, good luck and good on you.